Hey everyone, Dishrick here, and today we're coaching and playing with a Platinum Ranked player and focusing on why they are getting destroyed and absolutely put down as easy as they do. One of the most common mistakes that I'm seeing people make that is absolutely detrimental to their gameplay is one, how far they're coming off their cover, two, how long they're staying exposed when they do come out of cover, and three, how little they prioritize staying alive while in a gunfight, especially when they're losing those fights. Now, if you're finding that you're being destroyed super easy, I want you to pay close attention to a couple of things during the session. One is how far I come out of my cover versus how far he comes out of his cover. Two is how long he peaks versus how long do I peak and stay exposed in the open. And three is when we are looking for fights, when we are in a gunfight, how do we reposition and stay alive? Now, if getting coaching is something that you might be interested in, make sure to check out some of my other coaching videos here on YouTube in my full coaching sessions playlist on my channel, as well as you can always book a coaching session with me with the description down below. Sessions start at about $13, and you can always save up to 20% when you book a session with a duo or as a trio. And as a Christmas gift to our community, we will be giving away three free one-hour sessions. And all you need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe here on YouTube, like the video, join my Discord, and follow me on Twitter. All the links that you need will be in the description down below. And last but not least, I try to upload any and all entire coaching sessions to my membership page, so consider joining as a member. It's about $1.30 a month, and it's full of extra monthly content. Plus, you get some extra perks when you join my live streams. And before I forget, when I'm coaching a player with such a massive skill gap, I tend to turn my aim assist off and I use a blue or a white shield. So that's going to be why you see me missing more shots than usual. It's just because aim assist is turned off. All right, now let's hop on onto the video. See, you just swung all the way into the open right there. The open right there. Tied off the cover. Tied off the cover. Tied off the cover. Swing down to the open again. Ah, did it again. All right. Next time we'll do a lot better. Here we go. I like the fact that you call me out when I'm doing it because a lot of times I'm not, I'm not like intentional, I'm not aware, you know? Yeah. One. Go. One. Go. <laughs> Damn, you good. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. So when you climb up like that, you you really put yourself exposed into the open. There's nowhere for you to go. Nowhere for you to go when you're up in the open. So when you reset right here, I'll show you really quick. I'll show you really quick. Oh yeah. Right? Like when you're up here, if you want to drop down, you got to go one, two, three steps to the left. One, two, three steps to the right. Three steps to the right. A whole bunch of steps forward, right? So it takes you a long time. And even while you're dropping, that person can still see you while you're falling down. Versus if you're playing right here, one step, cover. One step, cover. 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 It's instant, right? So the only time you'll ever come up top is if the person that you're fighting is really hurt. Because this way you because you deny way, them any direction them of any moving direction around. Of moving they can't around. move backwards because you're looking at them. They can't come around the side because you're looking at because all you're these looking directions. At all these directions. Right. Versus mm. if you come around the side, they can go around the box. They can go over top of the box to get away from you. So the only time you climb up top is when you're you're ready to actually commit to killing them because they're hurt. Okay. Yeah. Go. Two, go. One, go. Remember, holster your gun and slide. Holster your gun and slide. I downed an enemy. Quicker peaks, Quicker tighter peaks. peaks to the corner. Tighter peaks to the corner. Okay. When you peek out, as long as you are, as right, and you're you stepping are, right? out into the open like you are, right, like, like, come back over here to where I am, right, if you're right here, you're not, and I'm over here, you're not gonna come out and push like this, 
right? You're gonna stay tight to the cover. That way you can crouch and go back into cover or you can come backwards and avoid being in the open. Because the second that you come out here, right? You're starting to put yourself more into the open. When you're just chasing me, right? I'm just gonna keep moving backwards like this and I'm gonna force you to come into the open. So don't play to that game, right? Don't put your hand out to keep chasing me in the open. Play off your cover, play off your cover, right, and then right? make and then pushes make off the cover. Pushes Don't off the cover. chase off the cover. Make sense? Yeah, it does. All right. Oh, okay. All right. So you need to make sure that you're playing again, right? You you play off your cover. The only time I push you, right, is when I want to make a move on you, right? So I'll get you hurt, and then I'll slide into you to kill you, right? But I'm not sliding up into your face like this, like you are to me all the time. Two, one, go. Hey, District. Yep. Hey, that last one, was that pretty good? That was pretty good. Chasing me so, down, uh, so, pushing me hard. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, my son, he's 11 years old. His name is Brandon Jr. Brandon and Jr. He, he wanted he wanted to um to play. He's actually better than me. He wanted to embarrass me? That, yeah, that, that was actually him. So, I got to give him his credit. He's over here but, embarrassing but, me, dude. He, he's putting he, the he, pressure he, on he, me. He, he is. He, he be teaching me a lot, too, though, you know? Kids know how to move so good too. They're like amazing. Dang. Yeah, man. Tell him. Tell him he yeah, put man, the heat him, on me. He put the heat on me. Hey, hey, Brandon. He said that you put the heat on him. <laughs> All right, three. That just, that, that, that just made his day. Yeah, right, let's go. Let's go. Nice, dude. Three, two, one, two, go. One, go. So when you realize that you're about to be put into a bad situation like that, once you realize that someone's pushing up onto you, that's when you want to focus on holstering and repositioning. So if I'm coming towards you like that, you can try to sneak underneath me, right? So if I'm coming over your head, you could have been, oh, here he is. Instead of shooting me in the air and then turning your back to me, you would be here and you'd be holster and then come replace where I was, come, right? Take, take my old spot. Oh, you want me to do what you did? Oh, oh I, want you, I want you to do what I should have done. Okay, so if you and were I'm, here... I'm pretending to have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you were here, right? You yeah. should have seen that... Yeah. Oh, district's in the air, holster. And then right. come over here. And now you have cover. Right? Oh, like, that is way me. more beneficial than you going here, turning with your gun away, with and then running away. slow. Because remember, when you run with your gun up, you're running really slow. If you run with your gun up, with your gun put away... You can slide sooner faster. and you can run faster. Yeah, oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, right. exactly, right? Like, it's okay to expose your back for a moment, right? Like, me doing this and running away from you, my back's turned to you, right? But I'm trying to quickly get into cover as opposed right. to if I'm here, like, I'm I'm still in front of you, right? Like, I didn't make it any right. harder for you. Three, two, one, go. One, go. So you overexposed right there? Oh yeah, I was definitely exposed. And then because you took so much damage, just like we were practicing like when we first started, right? You get your damage, holster, slide push up. Like like right there, I shot you, you went back into cover. And because you weren't able to shoot me, because you 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 stopped looking at me, I just slid into the wall jump and then pushed you instantly, right? So it, it comes back down to you get that person really hurt, you push up really fast. Gun down, right? Gun down, right? Pause. Yeah. Holster behind your cover. Holster behind your cover. Slide. Slide. 
don't holster uh, it in the open and then slide. Right? So this is you. Oh, okay. This is this is literally what you're looking like right now. I want you to stand yeah. on on top Let's here. Let's go this way. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? This is you. Oh, there's district. Right? Like you see how like yeah. you're just like running straight in the open versus oh All there's right. district, holster. Now you know even though you can you might be able to still see me a little bit, I'm way smaller, I'm way smaller. holster, right, so and then one it, slide yeah. and look, boom, I'm in cover right away. Oh, that's sick. Three, two, one. Go. Go. Alright, so you see how you're you're peeking for like two, three seconds. And just like how we yeah. talked about in the in the beginning, right? Like if you peek for a quarter second, you can hit sixty damage. But because you keep peeking for two, three seconds, I'm able to hit you for like a hundred and fifty. Yeah. Right? Because you just you stay in the open for me. Right? So you gotta make sure that you take quicker peaks. Right? You can do yep. like like So here you are. Look. So here you are. Mm -hmm. Information. Peak. Right? So information. Peak. Information. Peak. Oh, okay. Right, so one peak for info. Super super quick. Super super quick. Yeah. And then a bunch of small peaks. A bunch of small peaks. Two. One. Go. One. See how fast I moved away from you because I holstered my gun? Yeah, that was awesome. Oh damn, that was that was really good though. <laughs> you had a little bit of power, but you you did really good with your movement though. Two, one, go. Just holstering your gun, right? That holster lets you cover distance a lot faster. And this is what people just don't realize. Two, one, go. Oh, good shot. Good shot. <laughs> so close. Now I'm on fire now, District. <laughs> You're still wandering a lot in the open, though, right? Like, how long yeah. were you over here just looking around? I lived it for a while. Yeah. Right? Whenever people get mad, like very close to me, I don't know why, but I get mad nervous and I start shooting everywhere. It's all I good, right? Just focus it. on creating that space because that space will allow you to shoot a little bit more comfortably. Okay. Holster your gun, create some space. Three, two, uh, one, go. I downed an enemy. So in that case, I probably um 
Overextended, you realized I was pushing you, but you didn't create space, you didn't get to cover. You stayed in the open, you kept an open 50-50 fight, right? We call that challenging, right? Like you were challenging me in the open, you should have backed up. Well, I challenged you, but you accepted it, right? You should be like, no, 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 right? Like I wanna, I'm gonna fight from a, a spot that I can use as cover, as opposed to I'm gonna just let you get on top of me, right? Because typically when people start getting on top of you, that's when fights end, right? Because there's nowhere for you to go. So that's when you die. Yeah, I, I should basically um, not not let you dictate like my moves. I should dictate my own moves. You exactly. Know? In, a, in a sense, you know. You notice too, right? So I'll cut you off here. You notice too, right? Just you know, because you just said I'm not gonna let you dictate, let you dictate right? Yeah. Um, you notice how when you push me, I quickly back up, yeah, I quickly right? Back like up. if you push me, right? like I'm, here, me, up, I'm here, gun up, holster, holster here. Yep. Right, and I'm constantly moving around because I'm holstering yeah. my gun. I'm not letting you dictate, letting you dictate where you're gonna fight me. Where you're right, gonna like fight I'm gonna move right. around. Oh, okay. So you're basically controlling the situation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even if you if you try to do something, right, I'm gonna cancel it. I'm gonna yeah, counter that. It. I'm gonna go. Right? What I do is like you have 20 shots in the G7. I always count to 19 and then reload on 19 so that I have a little bit of extra time when I'm shooting um, the targets and I'm trying to do the challenge. I'm trying to do the challenge. Yeah, I think I, I saw you doing the challenge before and you did so good. And I was like, yo, this is the best I've ever seen you do. <laughs> and then your remark afterwards was like, damn, I suck. I'm like, dude, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. But you're very humble, though, you know? I just, I want to be one of the best, right? Like, like I look up. You know, a lot of people may not notice this or like realize this, but like I look up to, to Fade and to like Ecstasy, you know, to, to Treery. Like I look up to other people who are like way better than me and I go like, yeah, I know I can do like similar stuff, but like these guys just do it way better than me. Like I want to be like this, you know, so I like until I hit that level, I'm, I don't consider myself good. I consider myself average until I'm like them. Do you, do you like, a, a, I think his name is Asu? Yeah, I like Asu. Uh, I don't watch too much of him. Hmm. What were you gonna say? I don't watch too much of him, but um, I I do like him. He's a very good player. Yeah, my favorite is uh, it's Timmy. Yeah, Timmy is really funny. I like I like how he has like the the cuts to like memes and stuff. Like when he's playing, he'll like cut to his, like his face or something. Or like when he, when he finishes people, I I think that's hilarious. We'll do a couple more here. We start a little late, so we'll go a little over. Let's get okay. it. I'm gonna be playing a lot closer to you, right? So I'm focus. I'm trying to get you to get comfortable, holstering your gun, and backing up, right? Because I'm gonna be okay. making sure that I'm constantly on top of you with a shotgun and with this with this Kraber. Kraber. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Nice, good shots. Good stuff, good stuff pulling your cover right there, holding it down. Not stepping out too much into the open. Go. Go. Just remember, I'm still looking for you to take peaks. Take peaks. Create that space for me, right? Like right there, I just literally walked up onto you. I walked yeah, right up right onto right. you, right? And you didn't create any space. Yeah, so in that case, I should just ran to like a, a spot with a uh, with, uh, shield, right? Like. Well, you see you see me pushing up, holster, and you push away. And you push away. Right? Okay. Peek right. to push me off, and then holster, push away. Go. Go. Approval. All right, bet. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll go back and find where your your son killed me, and I'll I'll, I'll clip that, and I'll, I'll give him creds on TikTok. But don't tell him. Don't tell him. Let's let's surprise him. All right, all right.
Yeah. I like that. I like that. Thank you. Right. Want to do like a like a few more times real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Three. We'll, we'll do one more here, okay? We'll do one more here. Okay, okay yep, that works. Right. Three, two, one, go. Gotta make a count. Going. <laughs> hey, District Gale, thank you so much for everything, bro. No, no worries, man. Any yeah, questions? I definitely learned a lot. Now, I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just um, play back a lot of the things that we worked we worked on and just work on it um, individually. And and hey, I'm gonna um, put my son on just two seconds to say hi to you real quick. Guys. Yeah, for sure. His dude. name is Brandon Jr. Uh, Brandon Jr. Yeah, Brandon Jr. Yep. Hello. Yeah, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, man, how you doing? Good. Dude, your your dad told me that your you just absolutely, absolutely destroyed me. I didn't even know that was you. You just went crazy on me. Can we do one one v one? Let's do it, man. Like if you try. Oh, oh. Go, go behind. Um, that thing right there. Stop. There we go. All right. All right. Brand, this is only gonna we're only gonna do one time. One v one. All right. I'm make it count, okay? All right. Three, two, one, go. One. Oh. oh. Yo, you sty you almost styled on me though, dude. You, you you hit that wall bounce and I was like, "Whoa! Where would he go?" That was a good move right there. <laughs> GG. GG, man. GG, man. That's the plan. Thank you so much, district, man. No worries, man. I'll catch you soon, okay? All right, brother. You have a good night. You too, man. Later. Alright, peace. Ah, oh, he's such a great guy. <laughs>